George Tadanapper, that is how you pronounce it, George Tadanapper. He is coming off two straight first round knockout wins. So Tadanapper is showing that he's comfortable either side of the plate, lefty or right. And there's the right hand I talked about. You know where else he's comfortable? On the canvas, he's there often. Well, as I said, Tadanapper is comfortable from the lefty or right. Caution being taken here for 36-year-old Mike Jackson, who was the victim of a vicious one-punch knockout by George Tadanapper. There is George Tadanapper. He is now 7-0 with six knockouts and a good hand here. I'm a wild Indian boy, and I ain't bringing nothing less, but the roughest, the toughest, the most savage. Come here, you boy, now you foul. So who is Comanche Boy? Who is the Comanche Boy? Well, uh, scientifically speaking, it's just a rugged Indian boy from the 1800s coming back to reclaim what's rightfully his. Southern Plains style, Zab style. But um, at these modern times, I'm just the Indian boy trying to make it in this, you know, in this Thaval world we're living in. Laws of nature, it's out the window. We're in the laws of society now, so, hey, I'm just the Indian boy with hope and dream, you know. I'm gonna just come out there in a big time and do what I do best and conquer, you know. Like back in the days, just a different story. You know, a different playing field, different set of rules now. Um, I'm just trying to come up, man, and let everybody know. I might be Comanche boy, but I'm Indian boy. And I want everybody to know that I'm Indian boy. It's not just one tribe, it's all tribes. And that's why I'm fighting for all of us. Just happen to be Comanche. Hello, GTV, look. Kickboxing and won the North Texas light heavyweight title. 
uh, uh, Sancho, runner-up, uh, World Championships in Dallas, back all the same year, 01, when I first came out. Used to be an old wrestler, all American wrestler, college. So. You did? Yeah. Where? Uh, Lot Eisenhower, I wrestled in Delaware State, took seventh in the nation, Greco-Roman. So, I mean... You're a natural fighter, I'm ain't you? Banger, yeah. But when I grew up in Lot, Oklahoma, we didn't have boxing, so I, had to, I was a wrestler. And I fought on the streets, and fought old men, young men, whoever wanted to fight. So I fought. You just like to fight. I love to fight. I love to fight. So how is George as a sparring partner? Uh, George is one of my toughest sparring partners. You know, uh, he is the only one I really got, but uh, no doubt. He's, uh, he's a good sparring partner. He makes me work. Uh, I got to be in shape when I spar him. If I don't, he'll catch me slipping. Uh, other than that, you know, he's all around great sparring partner. He's a hard hitter. He moves good. Uh, he's learning and catching on real well. Say anyone inspired you to take this path as a boxer? Who would you say inspired you? Well, my you know, my life, my dad's my chief. You know, my dad was always there for me. He, um, great man. He's total opposite of me. He, uh, he, he, not like me. He don't, you know. I guess we're alike, but as far as me being a talker and you know out there like I am, you know, my dad ain't like that. You know, he's a you know, he's a humble man, and it's the way he told me to be. Be generous in life and be humble and, you know, live life to the fullest. And he inspired me and always told me about other great athletes. Always told me about some other in the boy, you know, like my Uncle Charlie Nelson, you know. He was the baddest in the boy because he could wrestle. You ain't tough. And that's what he used to tell me. You ain't tough because you don't know how to wrestle. So then I started wrestling, you know. And then I became tough, you know, because no one could wrestle. Um... Just, you know, uh, I've seen all the movies, you know, Billy Mills and Jim Thorpe, you know, the great athletes. George Tadanapper. How did I do? Hey, that's that's sound good to me. And you're you're three times the winner. Noah has. You must be three times his age. Uh, hey, no, hey, no, hey, no. hey. <laughs> George is fifteen and zero with fourteen 16. knockouts. Oh, since this was printed, you oh, won yeah. again. Yeah, I'm pretty active, so uh, I'm sixteen and zero, <laughs> fifteen knockouts now. And the current Native American Boxing Council Super Middleweight Champion. Of course, I'm Native American as well. Right, right. Uh, Comanche boy though. Yes, so, sir. And you you told me when you walked in you'd rather be called that. Oh yeah, I mean uh 
for you to say my last name, you have to be speaking Comanche, so I don't expect you to speak Comanche. So, well, what does it mean in Comanche, Smith? Oh, um, <laughs> the vicious young oh, man. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> That's what you do. You eat too much fried bread, and drink too much pop. Got come in the day the way and sweat off a pound or two. No baby, not gonna kill myself doing it. If you don't quit snorting, I can't. I can't stop it. I thought you were leaving. I thought you had to go. See the deep. No, you usually jump on there. One second. Yeah, yeah. 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 Look at each other. Thanks, guys. Not wrong. You get your I chose this path. I was born this way. I love to fight. I'm good at it. You know, God gave me these talents. You know, they hit hard and they give me uh, mental strengths in my mind. And life's hard, but you know, I know something's gonna break in my life right now, and it's all gonna be good. You know, like I said before, we, we had HBO calling us. You know, you know, forty thousand. It don't. It don't. To me, it's not much, but. It's coming, you know. They knew who I was. They wanted to get me on there. You know, that was my ultimate goal to be on HBO. I could have took it, you know, just for that goal. But my goal was to knock someone out and to do my dance and to bring my entourage to do my thing on HBO. And I just got to be patient, you know. And that's having a plan, you know, prioritizing, knowing what you want. I already seen this vision. You know, I know what's going to happen. You know, I'm going to just keep doing my thing. You know, I can't help it. I'm knocking people out. I'm going to be 20 and 0 with 19 KOs. I feel it. You know, I see it. It's just going to happen. And life's hard right now, but life's good right now. And I'm happy for everything I have. I got a, the most beautiful woman in the world. Treats me good. Most beautiful kids. And all my people, all my native people behind me. And I love it. One more time. Who is Comanche Boy? Comanche Boy is the baddest Indian boy you're ever going to meet and that you're ever going to see. And I can't help it, but, uh, you know, I do, the, I do it better than everybody. I'm fast, I'm quick, I'm slick. I'm kind of pretty too, like Muhammad Ali, you know, do my thing, you know, Chief I style. And I got a little bit of class, got a little pizzazz. That's how we do it. That's Comanche boy. Rugged in the boy. <laughs>